Joe Womack from theprepperproject.com here with Engineer 775. Scott, people want to know, will their safe act as a Faraday cage and protect, you know, can you put electronics into your safe and have them be protected from events like a, an EMP? Okay. A safe, being a metal enclosure, is a good start, but the hinges, the, the get rubber gasket around the edge, I have found them to be not a very effective Faraday cage. They offer some shielding, um, but their shielding effectiveness is pretty low unless you begin to start taping the joint after with an electri electrically conductive tape, you're going to have a hard time shielding that safe. The other thing about a safe is I tell people make sure they don't get the programmable or the digital locks because if they do that, then they're not going to possibly, the lock will fail, you can't get in the safe. So I always recommend the old manual dial uh, type safe. So safes are a good start at a Faraday cage because they're a large enclosure. Obviously, they're going to protect from the criminals, and they could be EMP proofed to protect from an EMP, but it would be difficult to do in terms of, um, you know, if you're wanting to use the safe. If you're just wanting to seal it up and not use the safe, then yes, you could seal that front, and the hinges are another entry point on some safes, so you just need to test that. If you're interested in how you can protect yourself from a CME or an EMP event, just click on the link below.